To be honest, I wasn't actually going to be making this guide because I thought there were too many already. However, I did see that a lot of you are having some trouble with hardcore mode, and so <laughs> here we go. Hi, welcome back to another Blue Archive video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be doing a one-shot, if not like a hardcore clear for the Hieronymus boss. This bad boy is actually kind of hard, and if you guys do overtake my rank, then like, you know, I will... I'll find you. But essentially today, I'm going to go through a couple of resources and then also run through a run myself. And so for context, I am level 61 and I am like, I'm clearing HC a Hieronymus pretty like easily. However, what is interesting is that I am actually not clearing with any of these comps here. So before we go anywhere, let me introduce the boss as well as the comps. And then after all of that, I can show you what I'm using. All right, so to start things off, let's talk about the mechanics real quick. So Green Lantern, Red Lantern, essentially ignore the Red Lantern and then Green Lantern, we essentially just need to heal it to make sure that we can debuff the boss five times to get the defense down. So it's in our best interest to get the green lantern popped off as fast as possible to be able to debuff the boss as fast as possible to be able to get the fastest time. All right, so with that, there is a caveat. So if you can see like very, very closely, there is a blue symbol. This is a heal recovery down debuff. So essentially after you've healed it and it's gone and procced the debuff, the defense down debuff that is, the green lantern will itself get a recovery down debuff. So what it means is that the next time you heal it, for the next 20 or 25 seconds, it will be healed for less. On an almost unrelated note, if you have played like League of Legends, it's essentially your grievous wounds. With the blue icon, incoming healing is down. Okay, and so with that said, let's have a look at the teams over here. So building teams, this is essentially kind of like how your team is going to look. I know it's going to look really scuffed because it's pretty blurry. I'm sorry for that. But this really is essentially like how it's going to work, right? So if I come on over here, I'm going to quickly refer to this one over here. So we've got our AA dealer, tank, main DPS, main DPS or debuffer, and then buffer or healer. And then to top it off, it's Serena. It's not a healer, it is literally Serena. And if you guys don't have Serena, there might be a chance, I don't know, like with the build that I use, but we'll see. Okay, so for the tank itself, it says tank is anyone. A lot of people do use this girl, Amy. However, I actually got away with using Yuka, Yuka three star. And so for me, I always needed a tank. However, I do know that there are some people who are like able to run the Akane for the tank slot, especially when they're level 70. But if you're like level 61 or or 58. I don't even know if 58s can do it, but still around the early 60s, I would say just use a freaking tank. All right, then on this side, we have the Serica. Serica is probably like the most important unit for this raid, if not like, okay, second most important next to Azusa. Azusa and Serica are actually like, they're not irreplaceable, but it's <laughs> it's quite hard to replace them. Generally speaking, Azusa's replacement is going to be like Aru, so you've got like your snipers in the back doing the big damage with their active skills. But as for Serica, like Serica is a free-to-play unit. She is farmable. You could use like the Mutsuki, the Shiroko, but I really would encourage you guys like use the Serica here. And so for the last one, for the AA dealer, you can use the Hina. However, a lot of people don't have the Hina, like such as myself. And so a good replacement would be the Akari. Akari is just like generally a very, very strong red attacker and, and you can't really go wrong with her. However, as you can see like down here, and of course I will link this down in the description below, but here are all of your different options. As you can see, we've got some healers down there. We've got buffers, we've got thorns. I learned the other day that thorns is supposed to be, uh, it's like supposed to be a gender bent Karen and if you guys think of thorns as Karen or Karen as thorns like yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. So that's essentially the team structure. You can have a look at some of the ones over here. However, I would say ignore the extreme. I think at this moment, uh, only maybe three people have cleared it on Asia, maybe two people on NA, and I think either zero or one on EU, something like that. All right, so with that being said, let's jump into the comp itself, into the game, and I will show you guys my characters so that you guys can actually kind of have a baseline to compare against, right? All right, my guys, so here is my team, Serika, Yuka, Azusa, and Akari, all at level 61 because that is my max level. And then as for the supports, you can see that I am actually running a double healer, Serena and Hanae. So to give you guys a little bit more context, let me go into each of these characters and show you what exactly I have equipped for them. So for Serica, as you can see, a level three EX skill as well as seven throughout all of these skills. However, the most important skills would be the sub skill and then the enhanced skill. The basic skill, like it's okay, it's some nice extra damage, but you really do want to be like leveling these ones first, 100%, up to seven at least. And so this is a quick look at the items for level 45 T5 gloves as well as level 20 watch. So not exactly maxed out. And you may ask me, why haven't I juiced up this EX skill? It's just because I'm stingy. That's literally it. All right. And so after Serica, we have Yuka over here. Yuka, I believe she only has some tank items. T4 and T3 gear. She is three star, however, at rank 14 for the relationship. But all of her skills are actually level one. So I have not actually invested overly much into her. Moving on from Yuka, we have Azusa next. So Azusa is really the main DPS. If it's not your Azusa, it's hopefully 
hopefully going to be your Aru. And if it's not your Aru, then you're going to have to select somebody else. It might be your Hina. I really wouldn't recommend the Hina. But that being said, this is what my Azusa looks like. So level 4 EX skill, and then I've got 737. In this case, Azusa's basic skill is actually really freaking cracked because she does the defense down. This defense down lasts for 20 seconds and is quite considerable, 22.7. On the other hand, we've got the sub skill. So essentially, when the enemy she is fighting has a status ailment, aka defense down, she would pretty much just do extra damage. It's free damage everywhere. Aside from that, her EX skill is just massive, massive damage on a massive multiplier. And so this is what my Azusa looks like, T5, T3, T4. And so with that, let's move on to the last character of the strikers, Akari. And my guys, as you can see, Akari actually is not very invested at all. Level 10, all T1 equips and level 1 skills straight across the board. However, my Akari is 4 stars. I do believe my Serica might be 4 stars as well. Let me just check that one. And so yeah, she is 4 stars. However, remember that 3 stars to 4 stars, whilst it's good, it's not like 100% necessary. And so generally speaking, if you have more levels than me, like level 61, maybe you're level 64 or something, and you have better equips, that may certainly bridge the gap and possibly exceed it. Alright, and so here are actually the two most important units. We've got Serena as well as Hanae. So this is what my Serena looks like. Her EX skill is 3 and then I've got the basic and enhanced at 4. Extremely, extremely important. So actually remember all of these. Basic 4, enhanced 4, and EX 3. And then her healing amulet is level 40 T4. And the reason this is important is because if I come back to the screen over here, let me just show you guys this uh, <laughs> try hard spreadsheet. I freaking love it. So essentially here, what this spreadsheet tells you is if you can one shot that green lantern in the boss. And what I mean by one shot is that if you can drop your Serena heal and it instantly heals the Green Lantern to full to then proc the defense down, that would be really freaking awesome. And it's also part of the reason why I have to run two healers. So for me, I come under this bucket because my Serena is two stars, the passive and the enhanced is also level four. And then I also have a level four necklace. My Serena's EX skill is level three. And so therefore I need to be level 63 to be able to one shot that Green Lantern. One shotting that Green Lantern is just so, so important, but like not for me because I run dual healers. So so yeah, just check on this sheet to see if you guys can indeed one-shot it. But with that said, let's get back to it and I will introduce you guys to the last student. So here is my Hanae. She is at three stars, so she is technically giving a little bit of crit damage. But then her healing skill is level one, although she does have a T3 healing necklace. Not much to say about this one, except for the fact that she is 10 levels under leveled. So you could probably actually match the stats for this one here. All right, and so that is my team. Let's go have a look at a run that I've pre-recorded because I cannot talk while I run. All right, my guys. Welcome to the Hiero Raid. Let's load in and all right, here we go. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is this guy over here. As you can see, the Green Lantern actually has a little bit of HP when the battle starts. And going by the spreadsheet before, my Serena is not actually able to one-shot that heal, like bring him all the way to full health. However, because I am like super, super close, I'm level 61 where I need level 63, I can actually instantly drop my Serena with that HP there to full heal him. And then he will set off the defense down debuff. So that is exactly what I do. Drop down the Serena, boom, activated Holy Light, and as you can see, the defense down debuff has appeared. And so whilst we're paused, I do want to talk about Serica really quick. So this one over here, if you guys did not read her EX skill, Serica actually instantly reloads. And so what that means is that at the very start of the reloading animation for Serica, you want to pop her EX skill. That will cut all of the animation time for the reloading and then hopefully save you a whole bunch of time to inevitably up your DPS. Throughout the battle, you will see me do that periodically. And so I'm just going to hit play and then you will see she is about to reload and the moment that I notice her reloading I am going to pop the EX heal. Reloading and I have slow reaction time. That is on me for having boomer hands. But I think you get the point. However, I do see something that I do want to talk about, which is the HP recovery debuff. So this blue icon over here, this bad boy is going to prevent me from full healing in one Serena shot. However, what if I use Hanae instead? And that is essentially what I do. Over the entire heal duration of Hanae, she is actually able to full heal this Green Lantern through that debuff. So I'm going to play and you will see me drop the Hanae onto it and then it is just going to go. Uh, come on. <laughs> there we go. And he is going to heal. It's going to heal full and I won't have to worry about it for quite a while. And so the next thing that you do need to take note of is the Sagata Mortis by Azusa, which is the defense down skill. Generally speaking, the uptime on the defense down skill is very high. It's like 66% or something. But if possible, before you use any like massive skills such as Azusa's EX, you do kind of want to be waiting for this one here. But just looking at the EX skills, there's not overly much to rotate. So as you can see, I do blow my Azusa over there. And then Serena is not going to be used because it is going to get a blue recovery debuff. So I'm pretty sure I actually hold on to the Serena. 
yeah, so I'm looking to rotate my Akari, which may or may not be a good move considering she's actually not that built. I don't know if it does much damage. Uh, do I do it? I think I do it. I do it because I want to cycle. So the Serica, as you can see, she was reloading. So I really needed to do that Akari a little bit earlier so I could faster recharge my Serica. And then as I am cycling through all of these skills, I can get back to my Hanae, which then will juice up the Green Lantern. As you can see, it's going to tick and then tick and then tick. Okay, it's going a bit slower because I am on 1x speed. But then now I see the timer. So as you can see, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, boom, that character is dead. If this death timer bomb is on your Yuka, you can actually use her EX skill to be able to successfully block the entire damage. On the other hand, because I am using the Hanae for the Green Lantern, I can actually use my Serena to drop it on whoever the timer bomb is on. And if you guys didn't know, a full healing the character with the bomb will actually disarm the bomb. So we're going to do a quick airdrop onto the Azusa with the Serena. And as you can see, the bomb has disappeared. Holy Light is triggering over here. We have three of the defense down buffs. Hopefully by the time we get to phase two, we will have five, four, almost five. So I've, I believe I'm just cycling through each of these skills. As you can see, I should have cycled a little bit faster to make sure the Serica is going to be able to get her EX skill off. And then Hana and back over here. You can tell that I'm rushing this Green Lantern, right? Because I'm not waiting for that debuff to go away. The other strat is actually to wait for that debuff and then like full heal it with the Serena. I just do it with the Hana Air, just because this is what's working for me. So that is eventually going to full heal and then we are going to enter phase two very, very shortly. And if you guys don't know when that happens, it's actually right now. It's on the 13 bars. Now? Now? Maybe now? Now. Okay, there we go. So welcome to phase two. All right, here we go. And so as you can see, he still has the four defense down debuffs. And so I really do want to get this lantern off one more time. As you can see, it actually started off with a little bit of HP again. So if you do have the Serena, you could consider dropping it there. I didn't get it. So I'm just going to cycle through some moves until I do get something. I want something ASAP. So come on, I got to use something. Not, not Duka. Okay, Akari. Akari is certainly what I should use. Serena, it's a little bit too late now. However, I did notice that the Serica actually was on low HP. So that was certainly a good move. However, using Serena on the Green Lantern there would have also been okay because then I could use the Hana Air on whoever was low and it wouldn't have mattered, like just the other way around, right? So as you can see, Hana Air going in, we're about to go into five debuffs and then this is where you really let everything fly. The Azusa is going to do mass damage. Serica is just going to do even more damage. Everybody's doing more damage and hopefully you can one hit the boss. Here we go with the Holy Relic five debuffs. That is good. That is juicy. And this is where you really want to cycle your Azusas as fast as possible. It might be your Arus or whatever, but that is pretty much it. Like I am essentially cycling the skills over and over. Hopefully you guys will have the survivability to do this because they are getting a little bit low, but yeah, like four bars left at 37 seconds. Azusa is doing mass damage. I'm healing her up because like Yuka could die. She does die. Screw it because there is only one bar left and we have secured victory 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 okay there we go there's the victory that's it that's pretty much it hopefully that was kind of helpful that scored me about 6.9 mil and so really that was it i know the investment is a little bit steep for example like maybe the skill levels of your serica are relatively low but then in that case all you need to do is probably take in another team because the rest of the stats aren't really unrealistic yuka akari and hanae are virtually uninvested they pretty much only have levels although my yuka actually does have gear so let me take that back serena's healing is like so 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 critical you probably wouldn't be able to do it without it and then your main red dps hopefully she will be juiced out like quite a fair bit but yeah again like i was trying to say if you guys can't one shot it like this then i would encourage that you use a couple of throwaway teams to at least get the boss down a couple of bars when i first tried it i had to two team it and the second time i had to take down four bars and honestly that was pretty realistic so hopefully all of this has kind of helped you all right i think that's it so now i guess i do really need to ask you guys was it actually helpful? And the reason that I asked this question is because there is a lot of gear disparity. There is a lot of level disparities at this point in the game. Eventually, when everybody hits like level 70, everybody's juiced out in T4, T5 gear because of all the two times drops or whatever. It will be a lot easier to make guides for everybody because of the parity, right? So my guys, let me know if that was helpful down in the comments below. And if you would leave a comment, I'll really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if you did find this helpful, please consider a like. And if you would like to see more, please consider a sub. I promise my guys, more blue archive content i swear however as your girl azusa once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye